Assalamu alaikum. 1 p.m. This is Radio Pakistan. The news read by Muhammad Munib Hub. First, the headlines. Foreign Minister has urged OIC and world community to take notice of India's belligerent posture and intervene in the affairs of Occupy and Kashmir. Information Minister says normalization of relations with India and stability in Afghanistan are two important goals of Pakistan. Israeli forces have marched one Palestinian during anti-occupation protests in Gaza, Israel, buffer zone. The last leg of Pakistan Super League begins in Karachi today. And now the news in detail. Foreign Minister Shah Mahmood Qureshi has said that Pakistan wants peace, but if India resorts to any aggression, we will give a befitting response. Talking to media in Sakhar today, he regretted that the Indian posture is so belligerent that even the Indian cricket players are wearing caps of their army during matches. He said that while the entire world is accepting Pakistan's narrative today, the Indian narrative is not being accepted even by the Indian people and voices are coming from inside India that New Delhi has lost Kashmir. Shah Mahmood Qureshi said that the situation in occupied Kashmir has deteriorated to the extent that the United States has declared the state a dangerous area and warned its citizens not to visit it. He asked the OIC and the world community to take notice of India's belligerent behavior and intervene in the affairs of occupied Kashmir. Answering a question, Shah Mahmood Qureshi appealed to the leadership of all political parties to evolve consensus on implementation of National Action Plan against terrorists as a plan had been formulated through consensus of all parties. Information Minister Fawad Chaudhry has said normalization of relations with India and stability in Afghanistan are the two most important goals of present governments in Pakistan. In an interview with Russian Today, he said it is unfortunate that the Indian Prime Minister created war frenzy and used the Pulwama incident for his personal political gains. He said unless the elections are over in India, the chances of moving forward towards peace appear to be difficult. The Information Minister said Pakistan desires resolution of all disputes with India, including the core issue of Jammu and Kashmir, through dialogue. He said we are offering India to become partner in fighting terrorism. However, he said if war is imposed on us, we know how to respond and fight wars. Prime Minister Imran Khan is expected to chair a high-level meeting at the Chief Minister Secretariat in the provincial metropolis. During the meeting, the officials of Punjab government will brief him on important matters. The Prime Minister will also hold separate meetings with Punjab Governor Chaudhry Muhammad Sarwar and Chief Minister Sardar Usman Bustar. Punjab Minister for Energy Dr. Muhammad Akhtar Malik has said that energy policy is being evolved in collaboration with federal governments to provide low-cost energy to the people. Talking to media in Lahore, he said that provision of electricity to the domestic consumers, farmers and industry is a top priority of the present government. He said that Head Marala project has been made functional and turbine of hydro project completed in Bakhbatan. One Palestinian was martyred and dozen others were injured by Israeli army a gunfire during anti-occupation protests in Gaza, Israeli buffer zone. The Palestinian Health Ministry said the demonstrators demanded the right of Palestinian refugees to return to their homes in Palestine, from which they were driven in 1948 to make way for the new state of Israel. They also demanded an end to Israel's 12-year blockade of the Gaza Strip, which has gutted the area's economy and deprived its roughly 2 million inhabitants of many basic commodities. Former Indian Navy Chief Retired Admiral L. Ram Das has called for immediate intervention of the Election Commission to stop political parties from using the armed forces actions for political gains. In an open letter to Chief Election Commissioner Sunil Arora, Admiral Ram Das said, we, the elections due in a few weeks, it is particularly important that there should not be any misuse of the recent events by any political party to send triumphalist or jingoistic messages which can influence the electorate. NATO Secretary General Jen Solvang has called for increased defense cooperation in Europe as part of the organizations. Speaking at Warsaw during a meeting of the European People's Party, he said there is a need to increase defense cooperation in Europe, but this should not replace cooperation with NATO. The last leg of Pakistan Super League begins in Karachi today. Match between Lahore Kalantas and Islamabad United will be played at 7 p.m. And that is the end of the news. For more news and analysis, log into our website, radio.gov.pk, and also watch live video streaming of our bulletins on the link, facebook.com slash Radio Pakistan News Official.